Hey guys, welcome to How To Be Fancy. Today I have another hair video for you. A lot of you asked me about the no heat curls that I did in my last hair video and so I thought I would just quickly kind of show you how I do that and get that curl. There's a few reasons that I do that particular style and um, so I thought I'd kind of go through those with you today while I show you how to do this. Number one is when it's too hot in the summertime and I can't bear to go near a curling iron, this is what I do when I want to get just a little bit of curl or volume into my hair. I also do this in winter, like right now, when my hair is feeling really, really dry and I'm trying not to put too much heat on it. The way I usually do this is on freshly washed hair. And yes, that is my hair just naturally blow dried, fresh out of the shower. It's very, very straight. Because my hair is so straight, when I freshly wash it, there's no way I could just pull my hair up in a ponytail or put like victory rolls in or anything like that without putting a little bit of curl into my hair. This is a great thing to do on a night when you know the next morning's gonna be super hectic or it's a lazy weekend and you just don't wanna mess with your hair the following day. And then the final reason and probably the most used way that I use this is to hold curl in. So I've maybe already done a curl set the day before and I just wanna make sure that I don't lose a lot of that curl then I'll do it just like I did in the last video over the top of all of that curl and it just kind of helps hold it all in. So to get started doing this, all you wanna do is part your hair whichever way you want to part it. My headband is lace. I've tried a ton of different styles of headband but I like this one because it's a little bit thicker so I feel like I kind of get a little bit better grasp on this than I would with maybe like one of those thin elastic kind. Um, to each his own, I think maybe the shorter your hair is, the smaller the headband works a little bit better. Once you've got your hair all parted out, all you need to do is start taking tiny little sections. I start at the front, wherever my part is, and I take about uh, somewhere between a half inch and an inch um, section depending on how tight I want the curl. Of course, the smaller the section that you take, the smaller the, and tighter the curl will be. And um, so that's entirely up to you if you just want a big wave and especially if you have much longer hair than I do, you'll probably want to do bigger sections and just kind of go for an overall wave versus trying to get a really tight curl out of this. So I take anywhere half inch to an inch and just start tucking that into the headband and pulling it through. So you're essentially just wrapping all of your hair around and through the headband. I hope I'm showing you this okay. I know it's a little bit difficult to explain it, but hopefully visually you can see how easy this is what I typically like to do is do one side all the way to my ear and then I'll go to the other side and do that all the way to the ear and that just kind of secures the headband on your head so that it doesn't feel like it's gonna pop off on one side or you get like this unevenness um, while you're rolling the curl so I do half and half and then I do the same thing in the back I split my hair in half and then start tucking on one side, tucking on the other side, and I just go back and forth until it all feels nice and secure. Now, if you have shorter hair, I found that this is very tricky to do in the back of your head. So the easiest thing for you to do might be just to do the sides and then either do pin curls in the back of your hair or just, um, roll it up in a, one big roll and pin it in. You won't get the curl that you'll get, um, like you'll see in a minute, you won't get the curl <laughs> like you'll get if you have longer hair, um, but you will get some of that bend in the ends of your hair to make your hair styling overall a lot easier. If you have a few little pieces that don't want to go around the headband, just take a bobby pin or two, pin that in to secure it. You may want to use more than two bobby pins to hold it all together, especially if you are a rough sleeper like me. Um, the more bobby pins, the more it's gonna hold. Now you can either use hairspray just to kind of hold this together or you can use a sea salt spray. I find that's a really great thing to use um, because it just kind of helps hold and lock that curl in. Now once you've got all of that done, all you're going to want to do is take a scarf. Um, here I'm using a chiffon scarf. If I were going to be doing this during the day, I might use a bandana. Um, another thing I really like to use is an oversized silk scarf because I can really kind of wrap my hair up in a big, big scarf um, so that it's less likely to fall off. Um, tie this onto your head if you need to put bobby pins to keep it on your head. That's always a great option. Do that if you like. But now it's time to take it all out. It's gonna be really gentle when you do this because you can really start ripping your hair if you're not careful. So I usually start at the base of my neck 
and then slowly start to pull that hair out. Now, if you have longer hair, um, this is where you wanna be super duper careful um, to not damage your hair more, but just go slowly, take it easy, and um, yeah, just take your time while you take this out. Now you can see that I've got like crazy looking hair and uh, <laughs> it looks a mess. So what I like to do is take a wide tooth comb and brush that through my hair very, very gently. And the other thing, because you can see you get so much volume out of this, I don't wanna lose any of that volume. So I'll even go in and start kind of teasing the bottom of my hair, just so I kind of hold all of that volume in. Um, now with my hair, as you'll see, because it's a little bit shorter, the curl is stronger around the crown of my head and then it's got a little bit of a flat section in the back and then there's a little bit of curl at the bottom. Now that's great if you want to go with that style and really brush it out and try to make it sleek. I find it's a little bit difficult to make this like a very wave set pattern, but you can do that if you'd like. Um, the other thing this is great for is like in my last video, I tied or I put a turban on. So you don't, you're not really worried about this crown, a part of your head being flat or you know fluffy or curled. You really just want the curl around the face and the ends. It's perfect for that. If you want to kind of keep this fluffy curl and get it to go all the way around, here's what I do. I just start taking a few sections at a time, mainly on this top layer of hair and curl those with a curling iron. It takes about maybe four curls, which is way better than my hair would normally take like 20 or 30 um, to get this kind of ringlety look. And so I just take a few sections, curl those. You can see those here. And then I just fluff it out just like I did the rest of the curls and start blending that in. Um, I've teased the top of my crown just to kind of break up my cowlick and the part that I have here. And um, tease it out as much as you want. You can put a little hairspray on it. I like to take hair oil on my fingers while I run my fingers through the hair just to kind of control any frizz or any flyaways. But kind of with this, I want the bigger, the better, the wilder, the better. I love um, using this technique to get those wild, big, kind of very natural looking curls. Um, I hope this has helped you. Let me know down below how you would use this technique or if you've tried it, um, what you like about it, what troubles you have with it, because I know it can be troublesome sometimes and maybe I can help troubleshoot some things for you. But if you did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you around. Um, take a couple of minutes and maybe check out one of my other videos. I've got quite a few hair videos. I'll leave those links below um, for you if you'd like to go through and watch a few of those. Um, that's going to be it for me for today, guys. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye.